This new action plan is a collaboration between many agencies, including the DEA, the FBI, Chicago police, and their Mexican counterparts. This enforcement group says ruthless Mexican cartels are a major cause of the violence here in Chicago that we are constantly reporting on. They say these cartels are a cause of many deaths in this city. The DEA and the acting attorney general of Mexico, Elias Beltran, tell Fox News this new initiative is meant to cut off the financial structure to these Mexican cartels and to take down the most wanted kingpins. Cutting off their money equals cutting off their power. Now, historically, Mexico and the United States have shared information and partnered in the fight against cartels. The DEA says what's new here is this specific investigative group dedicated to attacking international drugs shipped here to Chicago that end up all over America. Mexico's acting attorney general tells Fox News he has discussed combating the entire chain of cartels with Attorney General Jeff Sessions, and he now feels that United States and Mexico are more efficiently exchanging information. Here is the acting attorney general of Mexico, followed by Chicago's police superintendent. We have to find a way to debilitate their financial structure to be able to combat them on the economic side. That way they won't have the capabilities to ship the drugs to the United States and they won't be able to bring guns and money back to Mexico. We also know that the cartels in Mexico are responsible for many of the much of the illegal drugs that are finding their way to Chicago. We did ask Mexico's acting attorney general if Chicago Mayor Rahm Emanuel's sanctuary city status might interfere with federal operations. The attorney general says he did not want to comment on that because he's law enforcement and not involved in the politics. Mexico's acting attorney general also stayed away from current U.S. relations between Mexico and the United States and did not comment on President Trump's border wall. Now, the DEA also says right now happening in Chicago and all across America, cartels are ramping up their efforts to fill a void left behind by the capture of El Chapo.